All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to connect your Android tablet or phone to your long shot camera system, whether it's an LR3, Marksman, or Hawk. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is turn your tablet on. Uh, usually there's a button on the top or on the side. And then you're gonna to wanna to scroll up from the bottom. This is gonna let the tablet or phone go to the home screen. Now you wanna go ahead, if you didn't purchase the tablet from us, go to the Play Store and download the long shot app. Once you've done that, we don't want you to open it quite yet. We want you to long press it. It's gonna pop up with app info. Go ahead and click that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow permissions. This is gonna enable the camera to be able to connect to the Wi-Fi for the tablet. It's gonna allow uh, video and pictures to be taken along with audio. So you wanna make sure that they all say allowed. You can see right now I have none not allowed. And if you have them down there, you basically just click on each one and go ahead and say allow only while using the app or every time, depending on your preference. But make sure that they're, they're all enabled. So we've got them all enabled, so we're good on the app. Let's go ahead and get rid of that, go back to the home screen. Next thing you wanna do is to connect to the Wi-Fi of whatever camera system that you're using. So go ahead and go to settings, and then you're gonna click on um, your Wi-Fi network and internet, and go to internet. Now, if you have a Hawk, it should pop up and it's gonna say Hawk and you wanna to connect to that. If you have a Marksman, it's gonna say Marks uh, with some numbers. But we have right now an LR3. So you can see I've got an LR3-C and an LR3-R. Now that's C for camera and R for receiver. So I'm gonna go ahead this time and connect to the camera first. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna press C and the password is simply long shot, all lowercase. All right, now once you've done that, give it a second. A lot of the newer devices are gonna ask if you want to stay connected to that signal. There's no internet provided on the signal, and so it generally wants to say, do you wanna stay connected? If there it does that, go ahead and say, don't ask again for this network or something similar depending on your device, and you should be good to go from here on out. Now that we're connected to the camera, let's go ahead and go home, tap your long shot app. It's gonna open up. Now we can see it's got a picture of a camera here. It says connected 101, we're good to go. The other thing I want you to notice is right here, it tells you which Wi-Fi signal you're connected on. Some devices like to go back and connect to your home network if you're near that, or it can actually go between the camera or the receiver. Depending on which one you wanna be connected to, you can verify what you're connected to right there. We click the play button. It may give you another verbal prompt. All right, I got it, I'm using full screen. Uh, you've got a little tutorial, tutorial, and then we can press skip. Now you can see I'm getting my camera view. Let's go ahead and go back and get out of this. So what you want to do when you're setting up your camera is you want to connect that Wi-Fi signal to the camera. Go down to your target and position the camera the way you want it. Now leave the camera there, obviously. Go ahead and go back to your shooting position. The receiver should not be downrange. The receiver should be by you at the shooting position. So now I want to make sure that I go ahead and switch my network to the receiver. Your phone or tablet will connect to the receiver and the receiver will do the long distance connection to the camera. Now, if you have a marksman or you have a hawk, you don't need to worry about this step. But if you have an LR3, we definitely want to make sure you connect it to the right one when it's the appropriate time. So again, this is gonna say, hey, do you wanna stay connected? There's no internet. Yes, I wanna stay connected. I can see we're on R for receiver. Let's go ahead and go back to our app. And when you open the app, it should tell you again right here, I'm on the receiver. Sometimes people will connect to their LR3. They'll place their camera down about four or 500 yards. They'll come back to their shooting position and they will not reconnect to the receiver. So they'll get intermittent signals and it'll come in and out and they'll wonder why it's not reaching. Well, it's because you're still connected to the camera. If you go to your home screen, you're gonna see which one you're connected to. Now I'm connected to my receiver. Go ahead and go in the app and I've got video, we're good to go. That concludes this one. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us.